Happy Monday, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Make Jam Fan Flippers. If you're not familiar with this channel, uh, Monday through Friday, I check out all the thrift stores, and on the weekends, I hit garage sales, yard sales, etc., and thrift stores, too. Depends on how many yard sales garage sales are. Anyway, I'm on my way to this new thrift store now. I haven't been there before, so I'm going to take the camera in there. Let's see how much footage I can get, but um, I found this place last week and now I'm going to head over there and see what we can find. So let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I don't have much footage I have recorded. I did record a little bit of footage in there, but when I did start recording, people kind of gave me the look, so I didn't want to step on anybody. So especially being in a new thrift store, um, maybe I'll test it next time and see. It's just so crowded in there. But anyway, uh, let me go ahead and show you what I picked up. I picked up this Driving Miss Daisy. Now, this is for later purposes of getting it graded. And like I said before, I'm not really a firm believer of grading VHS tapes because they, they just degenerate over time. But um, people are paying crazy prices for them. So this one right here is a Warner Brothers. You can see the little watermark on it. And it's sealed. And it was only $0.99. Cents, so I'll, I'll get it graded somewhere down the road and we'll see if we can turn $0.99 cents into $2,000, $3,000. As people are paying crazy prices for things. The next thing I picked up was this. Now, I haven't comp this yet, but I did see it in there. It's a revised edition uh, D20 manual or handbook. It's not in the best of shape, but and it's got all kinds of pages devoted to different types. I guess different types of um, board games, role-playing games, anime. It looks like anime role players handbook, which is kind of cool. We'll see how much that goes for. Maybe I can get a 20 out of it. And the last thing I picked up was awesome, and I think I filmed the footage for this, was these 500 gigabyte Dell R1000 car, RD1000 cartridges. And I didn't think anything of them at first when I looked at them, I said, but they're still sealed. And when I comped them, one of these was going for $80. I was like, whoa, these were only 99 cents. But I bought two of them, and I'm thinking that possibly I could sell them both, both of them for maybe uh maybe a package deal of 150 140 we'll see what i get at them i'm definitely going to make some money off of these though especially with them being sealed because i think the ones that i saw were actually open so we'll see what happens uh, that was kind of my big score for today uh other than that that was it uh, like i said try to film as much as i could and if it was a little bit sorry about that but i like i said before i don't want to step on anybody's toes but uh that's it for today we'll see you later it's Friday morning, it's early, and I am heading over to the box bin yard sale. I didn't get, I wasn't even gonna start filming outside in the car yet, cause you're not gonna be able to see me anyway, it's still dark outside, but I'm excited to get over there, see what they have, so let's go ahead and get into this. All right, I am back from that box bin yard sale. Let me go ahead and show you what I got, and as always, I'll tell you how much I spent. It was a pretty cool day today. Um, found a lot of neat things. Uh, one of the things that I found I really didn't know what it was until I got home and kind of comped it. So we'll, we'll go ahead and get into this. Let me show you. Uh, first thing I picked up was this PlayStation 25 to life. And I think this goes for like maybe five or 10 bucks. So, you know, we'll see what I get out of that. I've got to look and see what the deal is with it. But um, this was called 
uh, postmark galley. I'm not sure how old this is. 32 cent stamps, stamps, I can't remember what stamps go for now. I should know this because I'm at the post office every day, but not for stamps. But anyway, this is a dinosaur uh, plaque with three 32 cent stamps on it. Here's what the back looks like. And of course, never go buy this because that's what I guess estate sales sell it for, but that's not what they sell it for. And the next thing I picked up was this Rubik's game. This vintage Rubik's game. Now I gotta check and see if all the pieces are in there. It says from 1982. So we'll see how much that goes for. I also grabbed. Here it is. Right here. I grabbed this PlayStation controller. I'm not sure what brand it is. If it's an actual uh, original PlayStation controller, or if it's a different, like third party. Like this part is missing here. So we'll figure it out. I'll take it in and clean it up and see how much it's worth. Some of the PlayStation and Xbox controllers that sold sold for like 30, 40 bucks. Depends on how rare it is, what kind of what brand it is. I also grabbed, and this is the thing that I had when I was a kid. And um I believe this one on eBay sold for yeah, it still works. I'm getting sidetracked now. <laughs> this one on eBay sold for um, 16 bucks, But I'll clean it up. It's kind of dirty. They had a $15 price tag on it, but uh, one just recently sold for 16 bucks. So I saw, and it has Tomy on it. And I also grabbed this. I don't know exactly how much this is going for, but it looked kind of old. And it's like one of those Cupid dolls where the eyes close so I'll try to comp that see what I can come up with that's close to this and sell it for that if it does show up uh, the last thing I grabbed well the last two things I grabbed was this right here this Nintendo GameCube Japanese Super Mario Kart game and that's Mario Dash so I got that and like I said the last thing that I didn't uh, know anything about was this right here, Geo. And there's three different issues. Now I comped these when I uh, got out of there because I didn't know anything. I've never heard of anything about these, but uh, recently some of these sold for 10 to 15 bucks just for a single issue. So I might try to put a lot of them together and some for 25, 30 bucks. We'll see. And I did get a bonus item, but I'm probably going to keep it for myself. And it's this little mask right here. I don't know how old it is. I've got to look. It says California Costume Collection. And it does have a, a website, www California Costume Collection. So it's not that old. But it still maybe we worth some money. But anyway, I don't even think I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna probably put it on one of my dummy heads and just put it in my room where my horror stuff is. But everything today only came to ten dollars. And I figured by the time I sell like the Rubik's game and the actual Rubik's uh, pyramid, stuff like that, and possibly this guy, I don't know how much, like I said, he's going to go for. And the controller. Hopefully I'll make at least 70 bucks. Because I'm sure a couple of things in there will sell for $20 each. But um, that was it. It was really neat because they changed everything around. They had a lot of stuff there, but they didn't have any of the um the stuff that i was looking for in the pictures was all gone they had this big huge uh stuffed animal and i looked it up and it was going for like 30 bucks but someone got it just like that and i couldn't be in two places at once because now the way they have it set up it's like you're either on this side or this side so but anyway i did grab all that stuff and i will make a profit um that's it for today we'll see good morning it is cold out 53 degrees it's Friday, and I'm heading over to the box bin yard sale. I saw a lot of pictures last night. Uh, looks like a lot of ma wooden mallards and a bunch of other vintage stuff. So let's go ahead and get over there and see what we can find. Okay, I am finished up at the box bin yard sale. And you know when you have a feeling, when you have a really good day, that's what I feel like right now. So as I always do, I'll let you know how much I spent. And let's go ahead and show you what I got. Got some really cool stuff. Um, the first thing I picked up was this vintage stuffed animal. I am not sure how much this goes for. 
I tried to comp it and I, I don't see it anywhere, but I remember these glass eyes when I, well, not glass, plastic eyes when I was a kid. Um, on one of the characters I had, so I knew it was pretty vintage, but this might be from the 70s or 80s. I'm not sure. So I got that. I got a Dandy Rabbit. I don't know how much that's going for, but Dandy toys do sell. Um, stuffed animals, they do sell them. They can go anywhere from 15 to $75. So I grabbed, this is really cool, this thing right here. And it's lightweight too. I thought it'd be heavy, but this thing's really neat. So on this is, personally, I might just keep this. I'm not going to sell it. I just bought this for myself, but I figured I'd show you guys. But really cool. Now this thing might only be worth a dollar or five dollars. I don't know, but to me, I thought with the craftsmanship of this thing is really neat. So, um, got that. And these two right here are really cool. And I don't know how old they are because I didn't see 2008. There we go. These hay wagons. I got two of the same one. Um, there's this one. And of course, it's Ertl. And I got this one. Let's see what else I have in the, my goodie bag. Um, the next thing I got was I'm kind of getting into something new just to see if it sells. But buttons. These are kind of older buttons. So there's one of the guys that I watch on uh, YouTube who actually sells a lot of buttons too. So um, I'll just see if I can learn from him because you know as uh, content makers we all kind of share off each other and um, you know something Ebola uh, that I might find. I pass it along a bolo that someone else might find they pass it along so it's just a it's a pretty good community when it comes to sharing stuff so but anyway um there's that also grab now one of the main reasons I went there while I'm talking I'll show you this was um, these mallards that they had there uh, wooden mallards there were some really nice looking ones and um, there was about 10 of them so there was a woman in front of me she went and she grabbed them. It was all of them I was lucky to get the two I'll show you but anyway there's a Matchbox Federal Express. It is from, let's see what year this is made. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, well, there's that. But here's one of the wooden mallards. This, this thing's kind of heavy. There's no writing on the bottom. I don't see it all. Some of these that are signed are worth a lot of money, but I'm not sure what this one would go for at all. But like I said, it's heavy. Uh, we got that, and also have grab the other one out of here this one and of course this doesn't have anything on the bottom either so kind of just might have to wing it when I list it um, just by looking at some of the other mallards on eBay that um, <coughs> excuse me on eBay that uh, have this particular pattern so there's that also grabbed some quick stuff out in the quarter bins this mad for kicks this might go for like five, ten bucks, if that. Uh, I also grabbed a I Love Lucy Zany Road Trip. California, here we come. It's still sealed. You know how people are going crazy over sealed VHS. Um, the box feels like it's a little damp, but that might just be from when they put the boxes out there and um, the moisture overnight between night and morning uh, sets in. Some of this stuff gets a little uh, damp, but it's like I said, it's not open. So it even has the uh, watermarks right here and then one of the coolest things I found was a game I really loved back in the day Killer Instinct Player's Guide now this is a solid $25 sale right here I checked it on eBay and um, there was at least four of them that sold for that price so that's pretty cool this is actually pay for what I paid for everything uh, I grabbed this little water I don't know how old this thing is but I grabbed that and I also grabbed this helicopter. I think this is a Corgi helicopter. I don't know how much this to go for. But put it on, see what we can get. And the last thing I got was a bunch of them, believe it or not, was these old vintage. And for some reason, this has a necklace attached to it, so I got a bonus. Um, <laughs> these old vintage My Little Pony dolls. But I just noticed this one has its tail cut. So, I don't know if it's a sell at all, but watch this one be worth a lot of money. <laughs> anyway, uh, you got that one there. And then there's this one. Oops. 
Maybe that's strawberry shortcake. I don't know. I'm not sure. I have to ask my daughters. They would know. Of course, I asked them, then, then they want them. So it's kind of a catch-22. And then there is this one. I'm not sure if that's one or not. This one kind of looks a little fake. But then again, it might be. I don't know. There's also this one. Uh, rounding out the rest of them. Whoop. Hopefully that didn't break. Then there's this one. There's also this one. Let's see what else. Uh, the last few I have in here. Oh, I have another one of these. Oh, is this one right here and this one looks like the tail might have maybe not I'm not sure I'd have to look these up and see what the length of these tails are but look it looks like some kid had fun with their ponies which that's what it's all about anyway but uh and there's this one now I know there's a mail order exclusive from back in the days and I don't remember what the name of it is, but that goes for a uh, solid $900. And those are hard to find. So I was hoping when I started picking them up, I was like, oh, please be in there. <laughs> I don't even know if it is, to be honest with you, because I don't know much about... I know my older daughters had ponies back in the day, but we never mail ordered a, uh, uh, any ponies. So I know they didn't have it, but um, everything here today, my total, and this is probably the, one of the most... Um, that I've spent, but it was only $18. I would say only just because all the stuff I got in here, but, uh, like I said, $18. One of those things in there, like I said, the uh, Killer Instinct book will sell for 25 bucks easily. So that more than made up for it. And everything else past that will be profit. And I'm hoping that the, uh, Ertl toys will definitely sell for a good profit. The stuffed animals, I'm not too sure of. Like I said, the Dandy, it might sell for, I don't know, I, I have to look it up. I'll have to comp prices on it and everything. Same with this Mallard. I'm not sure how much this Mallard would go for. It could go anywhere for from 14 bucks to 50 bucks. so I'm not too sure. And the little stuffed animal guy right here, don't know how much that would go for. It does have two little, like, burn marks on it, but I might lift, I don't know, I might list this for 30 or 40 bucks. We'll see if somebody uh, buys it. Christmas time's coming up, and people want gifts. But uh, after all that today, there was some other things there too, but someone already grabbed them. Um, there was a couple other, like, uh, PlayStation 2 games, but they were all, like, uh, sports games that don't sell for anything. So, But that's it for today. I was very excited about the stuff I got. We'll see you next time. This week, I'm going to go over some items that sold on eBay. The first item that I sold on eBay is this Adobe Photoshop Elements 11. I had purchased this at a box bin yard sale for a quarter. So when it's all said and done, I made about a $20 profit on this. The next item up is a sealed new reanimator DVD set. This came with a little syringe that had glowing liquid in it. And this one sold for $40. These next pair of shoes, the Nike Blazers Psychic Pink, White, and Black Mids, they were eight and a half, and I bought them for a dollar at a box bin yard sale, and they were almost in perfect condition. Uh, there was a few sp the spots on them, a couple of stains I could not get out. Other than that, I probably would have got them for a little bit higher, but I think I listed it for $80 and took a best offer of 60 This next item, this G.I. Joe Night Force Sneak Peek version 2, sold for 56 bucks. I believe I picked it up for 12 bucks years ago, and all these Night Force figures seem to be going up, along with the Tiger Force figures. And like I said, this one sold for 56 bucks. Uh, the it had tight joints on it. I, I believe it had everything, but one little piece was missing. And if I had that, it probably would went for like 90 bucks. Other than that, uh, a good sale on this one too. This next item was from my personal collection. It was the Elvira's Movie Macabre Double Features, uh, Blue Sunshine and Monstroid. And I believe I paid 5 bucks for it years ago. Ended up selling it for $24 and made about a $16 profit on it. This one was actually from my personal collection. Years ago, I had bought a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards when they first came out. 
I had all kinds of uh, first editions and everything. And this one was a Time Wizard, and it was a hollow card. And it sold for $26. As I mentioned in my previous episodes, anytime you find a Massacre video DVD release, it's going to sell for good to great money. This one was limited to 500 copies. And let me tell you, this movie is horrible. And I mean horrible. I actually sat through the two movies that are on here. And these are super low budget movies. It does have a cult following, but it's just not for my taste. I was contemplating on keeping it just because there's only 500 of these uh, released. But I didn't even want to keep it in my collection, to be honest with you. It's that bad, but you know, to each their own. Anyway, I bought it for $30 and ended up turning it around and selling it for $75. So I made a decent profit off of this. This next item, Amazing Spider-Man number 378, was a CGC rated 9.8 issue. I purchased this a few years back for $50 and I pretty much doubled what I paid for it. I do have a few other issues of Spider-Man with Carnage and Venom in it. And I did sell a few recently, which I should have in some other videos. But um, I actually did sell them at the right time because the movie had just come out and people were looking on eBay for these type of issues. And the last item of the week is one that I had wish I knew beforehand going into because I would have picked up a bunch of these. I seen a bunch of these at Walmart back in the day um, for sale. And I can't remember if they were $5 or $7. But, you know, can't change the past. This one was Halloween Curse of Michael Myers Unrated Producers Cut. And I sold it for $100. I believe it's out of print now. And a lot of people have been looking with the new movie Halloween Kills out for uh, anything Michael Myers and Halloween and this is one of the rarer ones and like I said I wish I had picked up a bunch of these copies but I'm happy with us with what I sold it for went for a hundred dollars I believe I made at least ninety dollar profit off of this all right everybody since it is the Halloween season this is my favorite time of year I just wanted to show you a few things I have in my man cave that I had for a long time I've been collecting a lot of stuff for about 30 years um, down here is a Texas Chainsaw Massacre beta tape and behind it is a zombie CED which is kind of rare to find and just a few things from um, some conventions I went to and some slides from um, one of the movies I'm trying to remember what it is Oh, the mutilator and there's also a record from the mutilator there there's a bunch of different like I said autograph stuff and everything uh, on that shelf right there up on the next shelf I have a bunch of old um, tapes and everything but this is a day of the dead that I got signed by Greg Nicotero years ago before he got like super famous with the walking dead now but um, yeah that's one of my um, pride right there. pride of my collection I should say right there along with this these two things right here are actually movie props from a German low-budget horror film um, I was huge on low budget German films, splatter films as they called it back in the 90s. I was a big fan of it. And there was an auction on eBay for both of these. And I believe I got them both for like uh, maybe $250 I got them both for. And like I said, these are kind of gruesome looking. They look really cool though. <laughs> but I mean, they also look realistic too. But there's those. I also have a uh, child's play little. Um, uh, Oh my gosh, I can't even think of it right now. <laughs> anyway, it's a uh, child's play like um, button from the movie theater. Also, this child's play knife was a promo. And just a few other cassette tapes in there and everything. But that's just a little sneak peek of some of the stuff I have in my collection. Well, it's been a fun week. Actually, it's going on almost two weeks since I posted the last video. I've had a lot going on. I've taken care of um, a lot of other things that I normally don't take care of um, within my business. Plus, I also had my daughter's birthday, which was fun. And it's just been slow at the Goodwills and thrift stores. Not much going on at all. Thank goodness that I go on every Friday to this one box bin sale because they, they've just been fantastic. But other than that, I don't even know if I posted one video from uh, Goodwill because they just have not had anything um also i've kind of switched from like uh t-shirts to long sleeve shirts now it's getting colder um hawaiian shirts are, they've slowed down a lot so won't be selling any of them anytime soon if i do it might be for uh presents and everything because we're you know at that fourth quarter part now where we're just 
uh, gearing up for anything Christmas related or gifts. So, but anyway, if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button and we'll see you next time.